day 576 day rating is a seven and I was trying to think of some alliteration to six but I am mentally too tired <laughs> trying to think of something creative and fun but the day went well got up at what time did we get up six no 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 five got up at five went for the walk went to go for a run with my friend at six we ran four miles and just chatted the whole time which is probably the greatest thing about it, it just leaves me not worry about the miles or the pace we just go and how we're feeling we take breaks when we need to we say hi to everyone we pass we say hi to the dogs when they get a chance and <clears throat> Just enjoy being out there, enjoy the company. So that was a great way to start the day. And then came back, rinsed off, played with the pup just for a sec, checked to see if she ate her food. She didn't. Which she got a little sick last night. So I don't know if she's maybe still feeling it, but she's only eaten a couple things today. But she was still playful, still played a little bit, which is good. Then went to go to the lake and go paddle boarding went and got a lake pass and we went to the wrong spot the first time and we're like let's go up a little another mile there's another exit let's try there try there still wasn't the right one we went another exit and i was like this is the one i remember this is the one that's good we can pretty much just walk out and <clears throat> put the paddle boards in the water so we went and we were just chatting the whole time about about life and funny stories and and relationships and jokes and work stuff so it was just great just to shoot shoot the breeze just enjoy the day conversation and probably the only down part was that we got out there and we just there's only I don't know maybe 100 meters you could go out maybe a little bit more 150 meters that you could go out <clears throat> before it was Thing kind of cut off because it was meant for all the um, the boats and the the uh, oh my gosh and the wave runners or whatever they're called the jet skis and so we're like okay cool let's just try, get, try to go out get the hang of it my friend hasn't gone out in like five years it's like okay let's just go really easy just go over here so we went out kind of floated back went out kind of floated back we went out and just kind of hung out chatted and then we're just in there talking and at some point they just leaned over and said where'd the paddle go and they're kind of a jokester so I said I don't know where to go you know it's kind of like are you being serious right now I kind of give them a look and then they look on the boat their little paddle board and I don't see it and so I'm like are you kidding and I kind of started looking around to see if it was floating couldn't find it it was gone <laughs> so we just, I mean we looked for it for a little bit just to see if by chance it was sticking out or floating and we just passed it but yeah it was gone it was gone and the water was probably too deep where we were to to see it we just sank to the bottom so maybe one day if it's the lake it's really really dry we can go back and check and maybe it'll be sitting there at the bottom i don't know my friend felt really bad they said they're gonna buy me a new one I was like okay i'm not worried about it like don't hate me i'm like i don't hate you it's replaceable it's it sucks that it happened but there's no sense in worrying about it now i'll just take care of it it's just enjoy being here and speaking of enjoy being here look at this <laughs> just I guess that's how she's gonna sleep tonight so okay but uh, the rest of the day came back still chatting so I had a great conversation the whole time and they had bought some jerky at the gas station quick trip they said it's really hard to find this if you can get this brand it's in this blue label or get this brand but the blue colored or the blue label for it because it's better it's the peppered kind 
It was actually pretty good. And then we had a couple other snacks and water. Yeah, I just kind of enjoyed the time out there. There's a few other people. Then as we were leaving, more people were coming in. So I think we left at the right time. <clears throat> and then someone even came up and said, oh, you guys look like you're having such a great time out there. It was so nice seeing you. I'm like, okay. I mean, they were just being really nice. So thank you, nice people, for being nice, I guess. And yeah, hopefully they had a nice time as well. And came back, rinsed off, and just kind of laid down. Wasn't sure what to eat. I ended up making some sweet potato fries. They are pretty good. And about three hours later, <clears throat> I was, um, what was he doing? My buddy. Oh, he takes me about a run. And I was like, oh man, I don't know when I go. I'm mentally, physically I can do it, but mentally I'm, just, I'm a little bit tired. Just from coming back and then rinse. It's six miles yesterday, four in the morning. Then was out in the lake. It got a little bit burnt. I can kind of feel it. I don't know. Probably can't see it well, but my back got a little bit. Yeah, I started feeling it right as we were leaving. I was like, oh, geez, I didn't put enough sunblock on or I didn't reapply. But probably didn't help that I went to that second run at 7 o'clock. And it started out really easy with my buddy Jason chatting the whole time. I think we went nine minute pace. Just so super casual, having a conversation for about 1.3 miles. And then they gave the speech and they said, all right, fast people go that way. It's like, come on, you wanna go with the long groups? Like, no, no, I, I, I gotta cut my time short. So it's only three miles, but okay, cool. Catch you later. I wanna try to go longer today, get more miles. Said, all right, see ya. And so I go and I'm keeping up with the three regular guys I go with. And we get about halfway, and it's a turnaround point. So you're going out, across the bridge, and then you come back, and it's a small decline. And they just started pulling away. And then my legs just felt like bricks. And it, it felt like I had already been running for days. It just, I, I very rarely, rarely have ever had this feeling where my legs just did not want to get up and do the full rotation of a run. I just felt like I was dragging them. And so I just, okay, let me shake it off, work on my breathing, try to get oxygen back to my legs. And there was maybe two or three times where it felt like, okay, I'm snapping out of it. And then no, it just came back. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna hold this pace. So my lungs felt fine, but my legs physically were tired and just spent. So I don't think being on the lake helped. I probably didn't hydrate as well as I, I could have. So a little bit dehydrated. And I think it's still that run from Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, Sunday. What day did I run? Sunday, I think it was Sunday. So still tired from that run. And that just killed my legs. I'm still feeling, I tried to massage them, tried to do some some range of motion rotation in it to get something back but every time I go up and down the stairs it was tough and for the runs every time I st start and stop it's really tough and I noticed running running up is okay not the best but it's okay but running downhill just my legs start feeling feeling it really bad just really get heavy quick Oh, but then I just felt drained and I still feel drained. And so I, I went to the store, tried to get some sushi, grabbed some mac and cheese. For some reason, I'm craving that kind of pasta. I grabbed a protein drink, like a vanilla protein, and a chai pro, chai, chai tea. And I got everything else, some pasta noodles. So just pasta and pasta. But I, I couldn't think of anything else. I wasn't gonna stand there for half an hour thinking of something else to eat. So I just grabbed what I thought I needed and got out of there. And it was really weird. As I was walking out, this guy's like, hey, stop. And I was like, but I turned around. So 
someone who just happened to be walking out stealing a drink and some chips or something. I don't know entirely, but security was kind of chasing them. And I don't know, maybe made me think, felt bad, but think, are they just doing this to be rude or they just not have any other options? They don't have money to pay for it. So I don't know. Like it's not right to steal, but at the same time, they need food. Right, so you just want to think, hey, I'll, I'll just pay for it. What do you take? I'll, I'll cover it, right? So it's three or four bucks, whatever it is. But I don't know. I just made me think again. I had to go put stuff in my car, come back, fill up the five gallon water. So I think I was probably analyzing it and processing it more and more. Seeing the situation, seeing the security guy walk him off the parking lot area. Anyways, that was interesting. Then came back, was texting a little bit with the friends, and now it's 10.40 and I'm, I'm ready to pass out. I'm just mentally, physically exhausted. My legs just feel like toast and I'm worried how they're gonna feel tomorrow. I guess <laughs> they don't feel great. And I'm still trying to drink. I got this recovery drink. It's like peach flavors. I just have water and the peach mix in there. It's by the FNX company, Phoenix company. Anyways, it's pretty good. I'm just trying to get in, I think, more calories and more hydration because I know I'm going to feel it more tomorrow. But that was the day. A lot of great things. A lot of great moments. Great, great to run twice. Great to finally use the paddleboard. Great to get outside and just kind of float and hang out and soak in just being out and away not stuck confined in a house being stuck in front of the computer so yeah that was the, the day I had a great time tomorrow we work so <laughs> time to get some rest run your life with health and happiness and have a good night